Hi guys, it's Samantha again. So I found some new developments on a couple of my other orchids and I wanted to share them with you. Now this one here was my orchid that I brought from work because it wasn't doing really well at all. There was no natural sunlight, so just fluorescent light. And I noticed that she just wasn't happy and she wasn't progressing. So I brought her home and as soon as I brought her home, to my surprise, I got a new spike right there. Can you guys see? Right there. And as well, I see this little node here. Oh, excuse the dog here. I, yeah, I see that one there and I honestly don't know what it is. I think possibly it could be another spike side to side. So what do you guys think? Could it be a spike? Because it's not, if it was a root, it wouldn't be, no, I can't say it wouldn't be in between the leaves, but it would have like a round tip, a round smooth tip. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but this one has got kind of like a weird, weird growing tip. Yeah, so I hope it's another spike. That would be really cool because I've never had um, an orchid that has grown two primary spikes before. So that's very exciting. Um, and something else, and this is kind of a really bad thing for me to admit, but I think I have OCD, <laughs> meaning like I can never, um, I can never let my orchids stay in one spot, which is really bad because if you move your orchids around a lot when it's in spike, this is what happens. Yes. See that? It's not pretty. And I know this. I know better. But I can't help myself. So poor thing. It's just, it looks like a little snake. It's just following the sun. And I move it from my southern window to my northern window, my eastern window, so it's all confused. So I'm pretty sad because this is a beautiful, beautiful um, colored orchid. I call it my sunshine orchid because she's got these gorgeous, gorgeous um, yellow and pink blooms. And silly me, I tell myself, just leave it alone, just leave it alone. But nope, never happy. So, I mean, I always place it in a sunny location, but still though. Poor thing's always searching for the sunlight, and this is how it turns out. So I must confess, I'm really horrible like that. So I left the primary spikes because um, it's not dead. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll get some blooms from the two primary spikes. And this has got a really a gorgeous set of roots. Got a lot of aerial roots here. It's actively growing. Um, yeah, so that is my confession. I'm a horrible, horrible orchid keeper, and I just I can't leave her alone. And so, guys, once you decide on a spot, the lesson for you today is just leave it alone, okay? Because this is what it's gonna turn out like. And not only this one, but also this poor honey. Look. She's searching the light. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my confession. I should know better than this. And I just can't help myself. You know, it all depends on my decorating style. Like before I had my orchid stand in my southern exposure. And now it's upstairs 
in the loft and now I'm not happy so I'm moving things around again. You know what I need? I think I need an orchid room. Just a room where I can, you know, just play with my orchids because right now it's all over the place. Maybe I'll do that. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of you, you know, don't have this bad habit like me. But anyways, what about you guys? Do you have any bad orchid habits that you want to confess since I'm airing my dirty laundry? Alright, so um, besides that, that's it. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.